few malicious versions of GPT and other generative AI models, from Worm GPT, which is based on an open source GPT-J model, to Dark Bert, which is allegedly trained on data from the Darknet, to the Dark GPT bot, Threat GPT, Triple X GPT, Wolf GPT, Fraud GPT. And the most recent example is a tool called Spy High, which was actually created by a Korean cybersecurity company as a proof of concept. So what can bad guys do with tools like Worm GPT at their disposal? Let's take a look. In this particular example, a criminal is asking Worm GPT to create a convincing email that can be used in a business email compromise attack. It is directed to an account manager and instructs them to urgently pay an invoice. It should appear to have come from the business's CEO. And without any problems, Worm GPT can generate that email. In fact, the creator of Worm GPT is advertising his creation, as he calls it, in the dark markets where criminals share their tools. And he is actually selling this for a fee. So there is a subscription model. Once a month, you can pay several hundred dollars or an annual fee so that you can use Worm GPT to create whatever you would like. And it is specifically designed as an alternative to ChatGPT to do all sorts of illegal stuff. This is what the creator says. But even if we look at the legitimate ChatGPT application by OpenAI, in the last few months, a lot of hackers have been discussing how they can actually use ChatGPT by OpenAI to jailbreak it, to convince it to do whatever they want. And there is a very dynamic discussion on this topic. So criminals are taking all sorts of approaches to create ways to take advantage of generative AI. 